three members of the occult club of a senior high school turned up missing while away on holiday. One of them, a girl called Linda, sent her mother some photographs before she disappeared. But the photos were no ordinary holiday snaps. otherwise it'll start the introduction again. So, when I heard that this game was not only a first-person horror game for the PlayStation, but also quite rare, I knew that I just had to get it for myself. And so I did. And, well, I'm, I'm starting off my PlayStation debut with a game I have no history with. Hmm. <laughs> I would have done Jumping Flash, but this emulator just can't r really handle playing and recording Jumping Flash at the same time. So anyway, here we are. On the left is Akira, our protagonist, and he's one of the few protagonists I've ever seen who actually carries his inventory around with him. You see that box there? And you're doing it again. Not fast enough for me. And... On the right is his partner, Angela. She wasn't mentioned in the intro. She is strange, and she probably belongs in the original Resident Evil. Yeah. Well, without further ado, let's start the new game. Uh, yep. <laughs> Lots of uh, languages to choose from. Uh, stereo. Mm-hmm. Yes, 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 yes. You have to do this every time you start a new game or load a game, by the way. Uh, yep. It's so quiet. Yeah. No sign of anyone around. It doesn't look like anyone has lived here for a long time. The building looks pretty old, too. Do you think the kids were really here? If Linda sent photos of the place, they must have been. Good deduction. But whether they're still around or not is a different matter. Also true. I can't get those photos of the spirits out of my head. It weren't spirits, they're zombies. Me neither. Well, let's take a look around and see what we can find. Well, Akira really knows his stuff. And Angela is okay with everything, really. So the first thing to take note of is this music. If you've replaced the original Resident Evil soundtrack with this, 
the, the entire game would have a drastically different tone. Yes, we can open curtains in this game. I like how Acura also uh, has the time to bind them as well. <laughs> so, yeah, this game plays like a mix of Resident Evil and King's Field, but without the RPG elements. Actually, it does have kind of an RPG element, but we'll get to that in a little while. So much to explain, woo. I don't mind the blinking. Um, so... Yeah, I'm playing this on a keyboard, so the controls feel very strange. It's it's not quite as weird when you're actually playing on a controller. I would have done it on a controller, but my controller broke. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, let's execute. Uh, check. There's a broken clock. Well, it's not really broken. It's just missing a few parts, like hands. Yeah, we have to. Uh, well, we can execute several actions, as you see. Turn a raise, yeah, it's just just like some kind of vintage point-and-click adventure game. Oh, we also have a watch, that's very, very valuable. Time is an aspect in the game. Time passes. Uh, we have antidotes, neutralized poison, ointments to heal wounds, matches to light, of course. Uh, oil to help light as well. Uh, no, no, we can't use it here, naturally. So, what we're going to do is record an action. Because we can... Oh, we can set up... Oh, a bit of stuttering there. Not sure what that was all about. We can set up actions so that we can record them to our little shoulder buttons. So I want that... I want that to be open. Um, don't really need clothes, do we? Mm -hmm. Back. Oh, no, 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 want that. I'm going to put match there. That's better. But for now, let's free up you and you. Okay, so we can now uh, use those actions at any time simply by pressing the button that they were assigned to. Very handy, that system. Very handy. And Resident Evil 1 doors! Yes! I love that. Okay, so it's dark in here. Light. This is going to be one of our main weapons against enemies in the game. Oh yes, light stops enemies from respawning. And you'd better hope that this shotgun is going to be our second weapon. Oh, oops, wrong button. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. <laughs> uh, I was trying to think of something that I forgot. Um, okay, for now... I'm going to put... You there. Yeah, check can take place match. We won't really need matches just yet, anyway. <coughs> so, there's a gun hanging on the wall. Take the gun? Yes! Unlike Resident Evil, this gun is fully working, and there is no downside to simply taking it off the wall like that. Oh, yes. Now that we have it, though, uh, we really should... No, no, no. Yeah, I'll put that there. Ah, <laughs> oh, whoops. Wrong button. I'm playing this on a keyboard, after all. Buttons are weird. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Good, good, good. So, hmm, we have a shotgun, we have light, uh, what else do we need? Well, we've got to keep on investigating, that's what. So, yes, let's go ahead. <laughs> oh, a rat. Uh, let's see if we can kill it. Oh, yeah, got it. Okay, that's good. Now, 
that rat is actually going to respawn if we re-enter the room. Well, it's going to respawn soon. But we can prevent that from happening if we simply use a match there to light a torch. Uh, torches will last about six hours, therefore they will stop monsters from spawning for about six hours. Very handy once again. There's a window with the curtains open. Yes, there is. That That is one old tap. Look at that. I like the effort they made to uh, make it 3D, though. Hmm. Nothing. A table. Nothing, nothing. Nah. Proceed down here. Oh, no. Ah, not bad. Bats are the most annoying thing ever. Uh, just they're very ow 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 ow. Okay, gotta get out of it. Oh, bathroom. That'd be a safe place, surely. It's not. Oh, ag ag ag. Knights. I mean mice. Biting my toes. Okay. In truth, there's nothing in this room. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> oh, ag, not the bat. Get out, get out, get out. Ooh, that's one of two exits from the mansion. The first was the way we came in. Gah. But yeah, bats, annoying. You, They're very, very hard to shoot, so I don't really bother. And they're very good at locking you into a corner and hurting you a lot like that. But we're out now, and we can relax. So we have four options. Mansion, we don't want to go back into there yet. Hotel, where you can rest and restore our health a little bit. It's 800 coins per night. But, nah. Go to the store? Yes, we will go to the store, and we will buy out its whole stock. Because we can. That's right, Acura came with enough money to completely fill out his inventory. He is a really prepared horror protagonist. We can't sell any items, no, we can only sell certain specific items. We won't get those items this early in the game, so we need to make good use of what we do have. And we can save it. Yep. Hope it doesn't have any errors. Yep. Uh, yeah, let's save up a slot one. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> so, that was our introduction to The Note, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. It's going to get very interesting. I really hope that we don't encounter many more bats. I really hope we can just run away from them. Well, there'll be many more things to see in the future. Many more things. And I didn't even tell you about the map. Yeah, well, there's a map. That's helpful. See you next time, everyone, where we will keep on searching for the three missing children, apparently. Yeah, well... <laughs>